Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Healthy Lifestyle, the Key for Better Lives webinar. This webinar is sponsored by Samyuk University Addiction Science Department in Seoul, South Korea. Today's session one is all about the introduction of healthy lifestyle. What is lifestyle? We often, we often say that some people have good lifestyle and some people do not have good lifestyle. So what is it? It is the way in which a person or group lives. And it's a particular, particular way of living. Every individual has his or her way of living his day-to-day -day life. And uh, every person, depending on the environment that he or she is in, varies his style to another person's style of living the life. Take a look at this picture. Uh, every day is a day of choices. We can choose what, uh, what clothes to wear, what uh, food to eat, what time to wake up in the morning, or what kind of activities you will do for a particular day. So uh, guys, it's up to your decision what particular activities you do for a certain day. Take a look at this. What is this? We call it lapida, right? We can see these, uh, we can see many of this in the cemetery. And uh, in here, we can see the date of uh, the, the, the date of, or the birth date of the person and the date that uh, the person died. So what's, what's a big deal in here? We have this dash in the middle of uh, birth date and the, the date of death. So uh, this is trying to tell us that this dash here is our contribution in the world when we are still alive, right? So uh, it's how we live the life that we got. So in here, it's our decision or it's our choice on how we live our life. Look at this picture. This is a picture of somebody driving his or her car, right? And uh, it shows here that you are the driver of your life. The things that you are doing now, you will reap uh, the fruits in the future. So it's up to you how you live your future depending on what kind of activities or what things you are planting now. It's like you reap the harvest of what you plant now. And it can also be associated with health and lifestyle. If you have good lifestyle now, then probably in the future, you will not suffer, uh, uh, suffer with uh, diseases. But if you have a bad lifestyle, then there is a very big possibility that in the future, you will encounter challenges or health challenges. Now, uh, guys, there are different components of lifestyle or there are uh, components that 
we can maintain to have a better life. And these things are uh, interrelated to each other in our being. We have here sunlight, of course. It's uh, the, the sun. We need that. The plants and animals, we need sunlight in order to live. We also have here water. Of course, uh, we cannot survive uh, existing in this world without water. We need to drink. We have here air, the most important of all. We cannot survive an hour without breathing. And here, we have sleep or rest. When we're tired, we sleep. And at night, uh, we sleep because we need, to, uh, we need to rest. Of course, we have exercise or physical activity. We have food or nutrition. We need to eat because food is the fuel of our body. We have temperance or uh, self-control of things that are, that are good, not good, or things that we encounter every day. We have trust or uh, this is also called establishing relationship to others or establishing relationship relationship uh, to ourselves and the divine power our god uh, the philippines is uh, composed of uh, people with different religions so uh, most of us in the philippines we have religion and we trust the divine power. But in this presentation, friends, we will be focusing on rest because this is the most neglected aspect of healthy lifestyle. Now, the question is why people nowadays neglect sleep or rest what are the reasons why we cannot sleep well let's let's check oh smartphone the onset of smartphone in our world deprives people of the so-called rest because in this particular device, we can do a lot of things. We can play games in the middle of the night. We can go shopping. We can uh, watch videos and so on. I'm not telling that smartphone is evil, but I'm telling that smartphone or these gadgets are affecting our lives. Uh, somehow, in a positive way, but uh, nowadays, young people, young people's lives are really affected by by these devices. Second, he, second here is studies. Of course, uh, I I I was a student and I am a student, and I know the struggles of of being a student. We have so many so many presentations to make we have so many homework we have uh, a lot of requirements to 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 make and now in the philippines you have you have like mountains of modules to make but i'm not saying that these modules and education is uh, affecting our lives negatively but i'm telling that when you uh, exert effort in uh, your educational pursuit or higher education, you also have to, we also have to balance that if we 
uh, spend so much of our time and energy in studying, we also need to rest. But now, uh, but nowadays, uh, students are are spending so much time with their gadgets at the same time studies, then they have less time to rest. Or some students don't like to rest because they want to spend more time. Instead of sleeping, this, they spend their time uh, using their smartphones. Okay, we also have here pressure, pressures at work. If, if, if you are working, we have uh, pressures at work that uh, deprives, deprive us from sleeping. Even though we're already on bed, our minds are still working, thinking of, of the requirements or the goals that the group in the company uh, needs to, to achieve. And uh, sometimes our bosses are kind of, kind of demanding. So uh, this is one of the factors that, that affect our sleep. Okay. And for the young people, like you guys, texting the mm, admit it, the crush or the boyfriend, girlfriend, it consumes much, it consumes much of your time. I mean, time to rest uh, is being uh, is being uh, consumed by this <laughs> like chat session with your loved one. Okay. Wow, this one, what is this? K-drama. Most of us are really uh, fond of watching dramas, Korean dramas. And uh, once you start watching the first episode, you cannot stop watching the succeeding episodes. Although uh, it makes us happy because of of uh, the the things that we see or we learn we also have to bear in mind that uh, rest is a very significant uh, part of our being maybe we can extend or maybe we can postpone our drama marathon or k movie marathon to the next day and sleep now. Uh, it's also possible, it's, it's, it's all about scheduling. Okay, and here, money, money, money. We're very busy on chasing for money. That's why we sacrifice our sleep because we, we have to respond to our clients in our Facebook page, we have to respond to our online selling uh, customers. <laughs> but guys, these are just some of the factors that deprive us from the so-called rest. Let's press forward. What is rest? Rest refers to Seize or seizing work or movement in order to relax, refresh oneself, or recover strength. Very simple. So it, it, it says that when you're exhausted, you need to rest. When you're tired, you, you need some nap. Okay, take a look at this machine, a blender. We usually see in the user's manual on how to use the blender properly, right? And it's stated there that when you use the blender, you must not use it continuously. So for example, you, uh, you blend uh, some, some fruits, like after one or two minutes, you have to uh, rest your mas machine. And then another one minute, and then rest, an another minute, then rest. Because this machine has 
tendency to overheat. And then that can be the cause of damage. So uh, our body is the same. When we use our body for a specific activity, exhausting activity, we need time to rest so that our, our body will not create damage inside. Okay. When we are very exhausted at work, we have to spend time recuperating. We have to spend uh, certain hours during the night to let ourselves uh, rest and uh, overcome the damages that the stresses or the stressors made in our system. Okay, uh, our body is like is like a machine, and then uh, it performs in a magical way. But uh, in order to maintain the uh, the the effectiveness or the effectivity of our body, we need to rest. Okay, rest or sleeping is. Uh, is the recharge or recharging. If your smartphone needs battery, I mean, needs electricity to function well, well, then uh, our body is the same. We cannot function the next day if we will not recharge. So we need to sleep and we need to relax. Relaxation means going to places or uh, seizing from stressors. And in the Philippines, vacation is the best uh, example of relaxation. Go to, we go to different places to unwind. Okay, let's move forward. Why do we sleep? Is it just a routine or is it just an SOP in living? No, we need to sleep because we are living creatures. Take a look at the picture. There, These things are alive and in order to continue living we also have to consider things that that allow us to continually live okay let's take a look this is a fish right they swim, they swim day by day, every day they swim. And we, we can see that they're not, uh, they're always moving and not sleeping, but actually these, these fish are also sleeping. There is a particular time that they sleep. Although they're not lying on bed, like what we do, uh, the characteristics, one of the characteristics of the fish uh, to rest is that they stop moving. Depending on a kind of fish, some, some fish, they, they fl float as if dead. But actually, when you touch them, like, uh, like what we tried in the aquarium, sometimes we can see that some of our pet fish are floating and we, 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 th we thought that, that they're dead, but actually they're resting, resting. They're, they rest to, uh, to recuperate and revitalize their body. Okay, here, elephant, uh, one of the biggest animals in the world, although they're very strong, they're very strong and they also, they also have time to sleep, rest, because they are made to do things and also 
they are made to uh, to rest and be, uh, recharge, energize. Okay, even nocturnal animals, the animals that are that are alive or uh, not not alive, uh, the animals that are active during the night, they also have uh, have a specific time to rest because uh, they're also exhausted. And for them to uh, perform well again, they need to, uh, to rest, to rest. Okay, all right. Just like the flowers, look at this sunflower. When, you, when we look at them during the day, they are awesome, amazing, sunny, very bright, and happy. But have you tried looking or uh, looking closer to these sunflowers at night? They look like this. Uh, it's like half close. And then given this scenario, plants are also recuperating after a day's exposure to the sun. It's their, uh, it's their way of resting. So the lesson that we can get here is that even plants who do not, which do not go to places like what we do, they also rest. They have this uh, characteristic that at night they, they rest. Okay, the same with us, people. We face different aspects of life. We face different challenges. We study, we establish relationship, we face problems. Our being, we are, we, we are, we are uh, the highest level of animals. So human as we are, we also need to rest. Now, what are the purposes of sleep or rest? Let's take a look. First here is restoration and recovery. What does it mean? So if we use our energy during the day, if, uh, we use our muscles, our uh, cells, we activate. Rest is rest time or sleep is the time to restore and recover. Every day we damage our cells because of the activities that we, we do. So uh, rest is required for us to rejuvenate, repair the, the damaged cells in our body. Okay, second here is energy conservation. So during the day, we spend our energy, we use our energy, the stored energy in our body. So in order to conserve the remaining energy in us, we need to sleep, recharge, so that we will become 100% again, not 15%. Because uh, when our body signals that uh, our energy is about to be empty, that particular situation of our being is very, uh, is very uh, dangerous because uh, it shows that we are overusing our body. Okay, all right, let's move on. Number three here is memory consolidation. So have you tried mingling with somebody who did not sleep uh, the night before? Have you tried? Uh, he or she is like, mainit ang ulo, right? Ay pag surang surang kay na. So, Memory consolidation. Uh, in, in this particular uh, thing, uh, we have 
we have this uh, loss of memory if our our body is overused. And uh, the same with the number four here is thermoregulation. So uh, I will be discussing all these things substantially in our next session. Today, I'm just uh, giving you a gist of what's going to happen in, in our succeeding sessions in this Healthy Lifestyle webinar. So the last year is homeostasis. Okay, what is thermoregulation and homeostasis? It is a thermoregulation as, uh, as defined here refers to what? It refers to a process that allows your body to maintain its core internal temperature. Thermo, that's thermoregulation. All thermoregulation mechanisms are designed to return your body to homeostasis. And as what I mentioned, if you, uh, if you lack rest or if you lack sleep, as I as I mentioned before, we have this mainiti ng ulo because our system was not able to revitalize or rejuvenate. So if we did not sleep for uh, for a, I mean if we didn't sleep, our damaged condition in the previous day is still the same. So what I'm saying here is we, we are already damaged in the previous day and then we did not sleep plus another damage on another day, then you have this over damaged body. And then if you continue to do that, then your body will be well damaged. Yeah, that's... That's why we need to uh, repair our damaged body one at a time, one day at a time, so that when we face the next day, we're renewed. Now, homeostasis, what is homeostasis? Homeostasis is the state of steady internal, uh, physical, and chemical conditions maintained by living systems. So if if we're not able to go back to this homeostasis, this, this, uh, this steady, steady state, then we will we will have hard time in maintaining our well-being in the coming weeks or in the coming months. Yeah, but don't worry, we will be establishing or or resubstantiating this. Uh, these things in the coming session. Now, sleep plays a vital role in good health and well-being throughout your life. Getting enough quality sleep at the right times can help protect your mental health, physical health, quality of life, and safety. The way you feel while you're awake depends in part on what happens while you're sleeping. During sleep, your body is working to support healthy brain function and maintain your physical health. In children and teens, sleep also helps support growth and development. That's from National Heart, Heart Lung, and Blood Institute in Bitsa Bethesda, uh, Maryland, Maryland, USA. Thank you for your participation. See you next week for our second session.